Hi everyone, it's Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue, and today we're going to be making these exquisite Gerber daisies, and they're made out of paper. This is our second in a series of videos to tell you how, or show you how, to make paper flowers that will last many years to come and will bring a little bit of spring to your home this this season um, especially if you're dealing with snow which right now we do have um, our share of snow on the ground so stay with me and I'm going to show you how to put these together so today we're going to be making these wonderful Gerbera daisies and um, I wanted to point out that these ones that I've made actually have a fluffy center or steam, I guess that's the stamen. And the reason why it does is that I have repurposed some old uh, sort of beat up looking um, fake flowers. And what I've done is I've taken them apart and I've kept the top, the button top, and these back two pieces and I have discarded the um, the flowers. So this is what it looks like deconstructed. Uh, a Gerber daisy consists of three of the larger petals and they are all the same size, which you see we, we kind of offset just a tiny bit just to give it fullness. And then three of the middle flowers and then of course the the stamen. Now you do not need to use and here is my deconstructed um, my deconstructed flower with the petals which are over here. So you don't have to use this if you don't have them but I am all about repurposing things so I thought this was a perfect solution for me to make these flowers. If you perhaps don't have them around or you can't find them at a thrift, stop, a thrift store, um, you can use something like this. It's just a regular dowel that I've used um, this florist tape on. And just a note about florist tape is that it's sticky when you pull it ever so slightly. So if you are pulling it ever so slightly, you can start to feel a stick. And that stick makes it easy for you to wind it around, like I have done here, wind it around this stem. So regardless of what you're going to use, either a dowel with florist tape or a repurposed um, stem from an old flower, uh, Gerber daisies consist of three of the same size piece right, the large, and three of the smaller pieces, the smaller, right? And um, when this cuts out, you can actually fit this all on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Now I am gonna give you that file. Remember my files are always free and they're available in Cricut Design Space. Um, also, remember that I use only Cricut Access images and um, in this case this and actually the daffodil from yesterday come from a uh, an image from a, an old cartridge called uh, 3D Floral Home Decor which if I'm not mistaken was designed by uh, the crepe paper artist, <laughs> flower artist, Leah Griffith, um, whom I mentioned yesterday as well. So um, this is a fabulous, fabulous uh, cartridge that was released a few years ago. And um, I just love it. I've made almost every single thing from this cartridge, including this daisy. So you're gonna cut out um, the colors and just so that you know, I did look it up. Daisies, this type of daisy comes in a beautiful orange color, this yellow, red, this pink, and even a white, um, which I, I didn't cut out white, but I will go ahead and cut out. So um, I, I have taken the large pieces 
and I'm not going to struggle with the glue gun today so you don't have to see me struggle with the glue gun but there's the tab that we talked about yesterday and we're just going to go through and and um, adhere some hot glue into onto these tabs all three big pieces all three small pieces until you end up with these sort of slightly cup-shaped these slightly cup-shaped petals all right and then we come along with here's the tip of my of my old uh flower that I, that i'm repurposing and we're going to put this that was also part of the repurposed and we then layer these pieces one on top of each other and to to be honest when i did it this way i did put some glue some hot glue here just to kind of hold them all in place and then i after i i layered those three let's see i came back and put these other three in here and you can arrange them all so that um so that they're just slightly offset because that's the way that a real gerber daisy um appears so you have to fiddle with this a little bit again a little bit of hot glue would be fine and then I come back with where is it oh, if I can find, oh here it is there's the button from the top and I put I put that on there also glue gunning it in place and what I end up with is this or these aren't they just precious so beautiful super easy really only two pieces um, that you cut out each uh, three times and with a little bit of glue gun work you create something that literally will last you several years um, if you if you keep them in a in a good space you can bring them out every spring um, and you'll have yourself a gorgeous bouquet and that's it um wasn't that super simple really you can make these you can make a lot of them and you can um, easily display them in a beautiful mason jar um, in your kitchen or in the hallway to bring about that little taste of spring um, and actually they would they would work well in your home until through the summer because these daisies do start coming out in the late spring um, and so I'm glad that you stayed with me for this tutorial I also wanted to thank all of my brand new subscribers I made a, an impassioned plea for um, some more subscribers because yesterday I was in the um, 70s for number of subscribers but this morning I am at I think 81 subscribers so I am inching towards my 100 subscriber goal which I'm trying to reach um, by the end of March so if you haven't already please subscribe and if you have subscribed would you please be so kind as to share my video maybe I can get some subscribers that way so tomorrow, we are going to be discussing cherry blossoms, which, oh, one of my favorite, favorite. And I love to make cherry blossoms. I have used them to adorn uh, wreaths and also some, uh, some uh, branches that I found out outdoors that have fallen over the winter and uh, tomorrow we're going to use them to adorn a very simple but versatile uh, note card. I'm going to show you how to do that tomorrow. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for coming. I really do appreciate it and, um, and we'll see you tomorrow. Make it a great day.